The adoption of biotechnology in Kenya today requires that members of the National Assembly and other policy makers be educated on the role of science and its contribution to economic growth. Our main mission is really to share knowledge on crop biotechnology and communicate about the evidence that science is generating about this technology because as you know there have been a lot of um, misconceptions and uh, a lot of emotions generated out of uh, this uh, technology. This will enable the lawmakers to make informed decisions and draft favorable laws and policies that support the advancement of science, technology and innovation in Kenya. We have got two areas of um, GMO that we are working on. First is uh, the, 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 the development of maize resistant to, inse to insects. And secondly, we are developing maize that is uh, drought tolerant. During a media visit to Kiboko, a confined field trial for maize in Kenya's Makweni County, researchers from the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, African Agricultural Technology Foundation, International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center, International Service for the Acquisition of Agribiotech Applications, Monsanto and the Academia, demonstrated to members of the National Assembly present the progress of biotechnology on the site in search for drought-tolerant maize. We also have biotechnology applications to see whether from that biotechnological approach, the one we have here in confined field trial, can we get something better? We are testing the efficacy of Moni 810 BT maize, which is a GMO. It is not a monster. As Dr. Karioki says, the gene is Bt, which was obtained from a soil-dwelling bacteria. It is within Kenya. And sometimes this uh, bacteria is used also as a spray in other crops, in our sukumas, in every crop that most of the vegetables that we eat. The project on the site called Water Efficient Maize for Africa, WEMA, is working on maize varieties that are drought and insect tolerant for Kenya's arid and rangelands. So this is the third experiment that we are doing, the third testing, ef efficacy testing. We have two results, and those results are good. The one with the gene is as good as the one that has a chemical in it. Then we have the one for drought. It improves maize in the event of drought. Ten lawmakers drawn from the Parliamentary Committees on Agriculture, Livestock and Cooperation, Education, Research and Technology, Environment, Water and Natural Resources, Finance, Planning and Trade, and Labor and Social Welfare commended scientists from Kenya and donor partners on their work to advance technological development in the country. Climate change is a big threat to Kenya's food security and adoption of biotechnology could help the country alleviate this problem. So our mind is an eye-opener. I also want to appreciate that our scholars, they are very bright people in this room, and I believe more in this country, and I think we need to utilize them for the betterment of this country. More is needed of uh, sensitization and the creation of awareness to the people. At the, on the grassroots, because who will consume this maize are the people on the grassroots. You can be your ambassador on the ground and also to the members who are left behind. I'm totally convinced myself by seeing all this. Parliamentarians with dissenting views challenge scientists and other biotech partners to do more sensitization on the use and safety of the technology, even as legislators plan to debate on the adoption of GM maize in Kenya. We are elected to protect the lives of Kenyans. And we want to make sure there's no stone which is not turned till all Kenyans are safe. If we are safe, then allow some people to eat GMO. Let people make a choice like him. He doesn't need GMO in his authority. I can assure you here if we have enough water, we don't need GMO here. We'll have enough food, more food than GMO can provide. I don't think the food in Tanzania and in Uganda is coming in plenty because of GMO. No. I don't think even, and Kenya is ahead of this technology. Kenya is ahead of the research. It's all that they have employed good farming mechanisms.